However, I, I want to practice doing a little bit of story hour. And I'm driving my car for and I don't know how good the audio will pick up with the hard ways of background. So we're just gonna give this shot. I went to a gathering about two thousand and sixteen, I think it was. Uh somewhere somewhere around then. I didn't pay I didn't actually pay to go to this thing. I snuck in and I was able to ride um, my dirt bike in to behind the fence and park um, very stealthily in the woods and hike in behind the entrance and get in without having to pay. So it was a little bit of a a little uh, spy ops sort of stealth entry kind of a fun fun thing you know I was just kind of bushwhacking ended up getting in not having to pay however many however many dollars these people pay to go to a gathering of the juggalo no fence but it's probably a few hundred dollars and I just wouldn't pay that but I will uh, steal from them <laughs> I, st- I, w- I will steal from the insane clown posse uh, so this was in Oklahoma, in Oklahoma City, and I get into the gathering of the Juggalos, and I expected it to be a little bit crazier than it was. I went in the afternoon, or sometime in the evening, um, and by that, I think that this was like the second day of the festival, so by this time... All these people are just hung over and drunk and hung over and drunk again. So everyone is just real low energy. Everyone's sort of just stumbling around in the hot sun, just tired, look like a bunch of clown zombies just sort of stumbling around. And... I felt a little bit out of place, like people were sort of, like I didn't quite fit in there, you know, so I wanted to adorn myself with the, with the garb of the people so I could feel like I fit in, so I took my shirt off, I find some glow sticks lying around on the ground and hang them on me, kind of put some mud on my shoulders, just to fit in with the juggalos, you know, Um, and I begin to feel like I'm being taken in by this, by this tribe of people, and I only stayed for one show, I watched uh, Walk a Flock of Flame, and that was actually a really good show, he's a really good artist, and is, uh, I mean, it really got the crowd going, and it it was, uh, it was a crazy mosh pit there for a while. And um, I, I got right in the middle of the mosh pit. I was covered in Fago from head to toe. Fago covered with all different flavors of the rainbow. Um, and God knows what other bodily fluids. So I decide at this point, it's probably time to call it a night. You don't want to go too late into the night with the Juggalos. That's that's not advised. Um, you know, I, I went to high school, so I can tell you, don't do that. Um, and I, I leave, I walk out, I'm hiking back out, and by this time it's pitch black, and there's campgrounds surrounding the event where people are staying. And it's literally just people stumbling, falling over themselves, lying in puddles of their of their fluids on the ground and the dirt, wallowing. And I am hiking 
into the dark woods uh, uh, through some campsites, and I hear approaching behind me in the dark a golf cart um, driven by clowns, a gang of clowns driving a golf cart towards me. And I hear them sort of doing their clown calls, whatever that is, and they start lighting fireworks, black cats, and throwing them. So as they get by me, they start throwing fireworks at me. And I'm thinking, I hope I don't, I, I feel like I need to take this, I need to, I don't want to offend them by rejecting their, their, um, their baptism, their, uh, their, uh, you know, initiation of me into their tribe. So I, I embrace this. I embrace the firecrackers. And as they pass, there's three women on the back dressed like clowns. And one of them has a large, a large, um, sex, sexual, uh, device, a unit and begins hitting me with it. Not too hard, not like violently, but hitting me with this thing. And as they pass, she says, that was inside my butt. And I knew at that point I was fully accepted by the tribe of the Juggalo. And it was just a really, sorry, I can't, I get, I get a little, I get a little torn up by this. You know, I was accepted in the tribe and I'll never forget that day.